Hey guys, I am so excited about today's video. I have been working on today's video for like two months, okay? Today's video is going to be all of my cream blushes, okay? I'm giving you arm swatches, I'm giving you cheek swatches, we're going to talk about the texture, we're going to talk about the finish, we're going to talk about my favorites, the color tones and the differences in them. So, I mean, this is going to be a long video, so I better get into it. If this sounds like your kind of content, don't forget to like it so I know you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. I totally forgot to mention in the intro, but we're going to talk about it now. Um... I swatched all of these on my cheeks in kind of the same area of my room and I did it when there wasn't direct sunlight so you could get like a sun a natural light indirect light source if that makes sense but there are two that I did not cheek swatch yet and that's why my face is quite bare and those are the brand new spring collection from Salt New York I picked up the duo. It is limited edition. Hopefully I have this video up before <laughs> they no longer sell it. Um, if they, I will put a note here that will let you know what's going on. Um, but I picked up the duo and so we have the shade Tangerine and the shade Lilac. I'm really, really excited about these. Let's get these on my cheeks. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like a page from Khaki's book and I am going to do the tangerine on one side and the lilac on the other side to show you the color of them completely on their own. And then I will flip so that I have matching cheeks for the rest of the day. If you just want to hear me talk about all the other bron uh -huh, all the other cream blushes that I have here, skip to this number right here. Um, I will have um, timestamps down below as much as I can. Stop it. Look at that. So beautiful. Okay, I kind of want to show you them next to the package because it is a bit darker inside the package. I hope this is coming across correctly. These are probably the most unique shades out of my entire collection, as you'll see here in a couple minutes. Um, a lot of... A lot of the shades in my collection are very similar. <laughs> so I'm excited to have these to help me kind of like break out of my box, um, but also to help adjust those other blushes, kind of how Kaki was saying. I'm going to link her video because I'm going to probably reference her a lot. Um, <laughs> I love her. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go with this one into Tangerine, and I'm going to go very, very lightly because these do look quite pigmented so nervous so I'm gonna kind of place the color and then I'm gonna take the blank side to kind of blend it a little more kind of on my cheekness so we can really see that difference I went really hard so you could really see the color of my cheek but as you can see, it's not as red or orange on your skin tone because obviously it mixes with whatever your skin tone is, you know? I think it's really lovely. I love the texture of it. Very light, very comfortable. Now we're going to take this brush and go into Lilac. Now Lilac is the one I was most excited for, I'm not going to lie, um, because I love cool tones. <laughs> But let's try her. Sold. <laughs> I'm sold. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this color. So here's a lilac. This is definitely my favorite versus this one this one's very beautiful i look alive very spring very summer very ready for activities the sunlight but this is loving it but here they are so we've got lilac and tangerine now let's 
mix. Are you ready? I think I'm going to go over the tangerine side first with the lilac just because this brush is in my hand. <laughs> and I'm going to cool down this lovely orange just a bit. Wow, that makes such a beautiful color. Yes, I am putting on like way more than I need to, but beautiful. Okay, next, tangerine onto the pink. And I am going to have to do more tangerine because I did more on the other side. But it's giving me this really nice, like, like, really natural flush for me like if i were to just run up 100 stairs <laughs> who's kidding me 12 stairs if i were to just run up one flight of stairs um you know like my face would flush kind of like this you know and i think that i evened out the colors quite well so that's how they look mixed i'm gonna finish up my face put on some bronzer maybe tone this side down a little bit and then I will be right back. Okay, I am back and I think this is settled on my skin quite nicely. I still love the combination. I like it with the look. All good things. I am pretty new to cream blush actually, which might be very surprising after you see how huge my collection of cream brush blushes is. Um, but I can't even remember which one of these was the first? I think Salt New York. Yeah, I think Salt New York was the first cream blush that I used. And I love their formula. It's very nice. Um, very thin. Very comfortable. Very easy to manipulate um, on the skin. Which is amazing. And, I, and then I think maybe the second one that I tried was Tower 28 love that formula as well. I actually would probably say that those two are my favorite formula of all these cream blushes. The Tower 28 and the Salt New York, those are probably my favorite formulas, if that's what you were looking for. <laughs> oh, if that's what you came here for, those are my favorite formulas. I have 13. I now have 13 different cream blushes. And I am not including my liquid blushes in here. I have a few liquid blushes, but I have so many cream blushes that I was like, I can't, I cannot do both of these. <laughs> so we are only talking about creams today. First, I'm going to talk about my most pink blushes, the most pink ones. So I have the Kosas eighth muse, which is obviously like, it looks very pink. It looks a little bit cool toned very nice. I'm not going to have these in the, the brand new ones in the lineup, but if I were, this one would have came first than this one. As you can see, it pulls all that purple right out of this one. So we've got the Kosas 8th Muse. I really like this color because it is that kind of pinky purple color, which I didn't have in my collection at all. This is the only one that goes kind of purple, which I'm really excited to have this lilac one because it's going to be a game changer for me, honestly. Um, so I do really like this one. This one is a little bit thicker and sticky kind of of a formula than a lot of what I have here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, swatch it. Terrible placement, but... And then I'm going to go ahead and take that um, lilac one from Salt New York right next to it. So you can see that. Let's try to clean that up. <laughs> All right. And then the next pink one that I have is the Natasha Denona Love Duo. The color here is Pink Coral. And this is one of the drier formulas. So the closest one, I have three sections, right? So I have like dry, matte, then I have the middle, which are kind of like creamy, but still leaning matte. I'm gonna make a graphic so you can see it because I think it's gonna be hard for me talking back and forth about them. But this one's a little bit more dry. So when you are um, like dipping into here, you kind of are like scraping, like it, it feels almost like powder it's very weird um 
situation. So let me show you my finger up close. All right, as you can see, it's quite like thick and powdery on my finger. And it is very powdery and dry. Um, it's the most dry of the formulas. I hate that like, I did the top of my arm, but when I twisted, okay, so that's the most um, dry out of everything I'm going to talk about here today, and it is pretty much a pretty true pink um, as well, and the next one that's like pinky leaning into the more orangey corally shades I have here is uh, Fenty's Cream Petal Poppin', so I got this one because it seemed to be the most like pinky neutral for my skin tone. Um, and it is a little bit more bright than what I would have wanted it to be. Um, but it is a really nice, thin, hydrating formula. Um, if I were to compare, these two are very similar in color. The Fenty one is just a hair more coral um, and it's creamier. I much prefer the Fenty formula to the Natasha formula. And since I've tried all of these, it's like I'm getting a little bit more picky. <laughs> um, in my favorites of them, you know, so the Fenty one is one of the most moisturizing ones that I have, the most creamy moisturizing, um, of the textures, and, like, has, like, the most glow giving to it, whereas the Kosas one and the Natasha Denona one end up having more of, like, a matte finish on my skin. Okay, the next one leaning into this more corally tone that I have is this Milani You're a Peach. This one is a very, 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 very vibrant color, um, but it is a really nice thin formula. I think the Petal Poppin is a bit more, it's the same thinness, but the Fenty one is creamier and more moisturizing, whereas this one has more of like that a matte dry down, but it is a very nice Thin formula so there's that color but I do like this formula but because of how bright this color is I almost feel like it's something that I have to under paint because it's very hard to get it very very thin it does sheer out of course but it's hard when you're using a sponge or a brush to sheer it out like that much you know maybe I'll try my fingers but for me just <sighs> I don't want to have to change everything about how I apply my makeup for the, each individual product. I like, you know, my way of application to work across my products more. Um, this is, besides those two new salt ones, this is the newest one in my collection. It is the Melt Cream Blush Light in Honey Thief. Perfect, beautiful, lovely little like soft coral kind of shade. And these are maybe the thinnest formula that I have. Very, 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 very thin um, and creamy texture. And it is a very hydrating um, texture as well. But it does dry down to be more of a matte. And it is very similar to Milani one in like, the color, but as you can tell, the Milani one is just brighter, um, punchier color. The next one, this is like basically the very center of my collection. It is pretty much the most neutral, everyday kind of color. It's a little bit purple, it's a little bit pink, it's a little bit orange, it's a little bit rosy, it's a little bit everything. It's a little bit Alexis. And that is Magic Hour by Tower 28. This is my favorite color of all of them. I could wear this with any kind of makeup look at all. It's so beautiful. This one is not as thin and balmy as the Fenty Milani in the Melt, but it is not as thick and creamy as the Kosas. Um, it's a little bit in between. So it's very, it's got like a little bit more of a grip to it. And I think that really helps it to have the like hydrating finish that it does. So there it is right there. So you can see it's a little bit more neutral than these two, but it lives kind of in that same family, in my opinion. 
um, but it is a little bit more hydrating. As you can see, it like blends right into my finger. It's like the perfect tone for my skin. I love it so much. The next one, okay. <laughs> the next four we're gonna talk about are pretty much the same color, to be honest. Uh, I did not realize until I was doing this and I was like, these are pretty much the same color, Amy. Really quickly though, I didn't really uh, put this tangerine one where I should have. I feel like it would go, mm, yeah, I feel like it would go right here. Yeah, see how much different it is because it is like actually an orange compared to the more corally ones that I have here. That swatch is terrible, but I hope you can see it. Um, but like I was saying, the next four are very, very similar. So the first one I put here is the Salt New York Rose. And the Salt New York ones are, um, I would say they remind me most out of these of, let's see, yeah, of the Fenty um, cream blushes. They're probably closest to that in texture, in my opinion. So this is the Salt New York Rose. As you can see, it is very similar to the Tower 28 Magic Hour, but it is more rosy. The Salt New York ones do also kind of, they dry down and they give you this kind of like skin-like satin kind of finish. So I don't think that they are the most like juicy, glowy. Um, to me, the juiciest glowiest ones are the tower 28 ones and the fenty ones this these formulas are the most hydrating glowy looking all right next we've got the elf cream blush and this is the shade tahiti i mean like are these the same shade very close so the e.l.f. Tahiti one, you're going to see, has a bit more pink to it than the Salt Rose. So there's Rose and then Tahiti. So you can see the Tahiti one is pulling much more towards these pinks, but still in that rosy family. The next one I have here is the L.Y.S. Love Yourself. No, Self Love, not Love Yourself. This is love yourself. Self love blush. Um, and this is a very similar tone, but it is deeper and has more pigment. And these two are both a matte finish. They are still that like thin, balmy consistency, but they do have a matte finish. So there's self love by LYS. I probably get to flip to those shades. It doesn't matter. All right, next we have the Rare Beauty Nearly Mauve. And this to me is like very far from mauve. In my opinion, it's a rose color. Um, and it is very close to the last couple that we swatched here. Um, it is a very, like it's a very, like it melts. It's a very thin formula, but it does have a matte finish. So there's Nearly Mob next to Self Love. And then the last one that I have here for you is Tower 28 Power Hour. This is like the deepest one that I have. It is a like brick red brown kind of tone. Very beautiful. Um, and I'm going to do like a pretty pigmented swatch, but then next to it, I'll do like a thinned out one so you can kind of see what it looks like when I wear it. <laughs> so there is Tower 28 Power Hour Full Pigment, and then this is it blurred out pretty much. It's got this beautiful like rich sunburnt appearance i really love that one so here here they all are <laughs> hopefully i was informative and concise i tried to do this as quickly as possible and looking at the timing honestly i don't think i did that bad <laughs> 
let me know down below but yeah that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up it helps me out so much subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye